Hey, it's Mr. Dang, and I've got a few short tutorials to show you based on questions people have asked me recently. So in this one, someone had asked me, how do you make it so that when you click a button, it creates a sound? Let me go ahead and show it in a diagram. Here, I've got one note pulled up. And let's say this here is my button. If I click it, what I want it to do is change a variable. The variable is going to be true or false. In this case, we want it to be true. When that variable turns true, we have our audio player here. We want it to start playing that audio. When the audio is finished, it'll set that variable false. So it's done. Now, when I also click this button, I want it to reset that uh, audio player so that it starts at zero. So I reset it to zero. All right, that's the gist of it. Let's go ahead and go into Power Apps and build it. Here I've pulled up a simple three screen app made from the context entity and common data service. The experience that I want to give the user is that when they click this refresh button, not only do I want the data source refreshed, but I want to play a sound just to give that kind of feedback, that audio feedback. Let's start by adding that audio file. I go to File, Media, and just like I would add some images and videos, I could actually add audio files. Audio files can take uh, uh, any of the common formats. I'm going to browse for that file that I want to use here. Here, I'm using a WAV file. Now that it's loaded, I'm going to have it inside a, an audio player. This way, uh, it, it, has, it has something that it could play with. By default, the media player is going to play the sample audio. I'm going to set it to that sound effect. I'll show you what it sounds like. You might recognize it. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> so this audio player is going to be hidden later, but right now we're configuring it. We'll start with the reload button. Right now it's performing this refresh. In front of that, I'm going to run that variable that I was showing in the diagram earlier. So I'm going to set a variable that I'm calling play audio. I'm going to set it to true. Also, like I showed in the diagram, I want it to reset this audio player so it starts at zero. So I'll reset the name of this audio control is audio one. And then it's going to perform the refresh. Now this audio control has a few things that I need to configure. Uh, let me start by zooming in here. There's a few different properties to change. First, change the start property. I'll set it equal to that same variable that I declared earlier, play audio. You can name it anything that you want. I'll set the start, the auto start property to the same thing, play audio. Now, I also want to change the pause, uh, the auto pause uh, property to false so that it doesn't stop in the middle of changing to a different screen. One final thing to do, when this sound effect is done, I want it to change that, uh, that, that variable to false. So I'll set the variable called play audio to false. I'm gonna zoom out again. And let's do some cleaning up. I'll go to the properties and I'll switch this audio player off, uh, invisible so that you don't see it. Now, when the user clicks this button, plays the sound and refreshes the data source. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more interesting power apps, please subscribe.